Welcome back to the Dolly Cam, everybody. I am here live in Wilmington, Ohio at the Wilmington, Ohio Doll Show and Sale. There is a lot going on. The show is in full swing, and we're just gonna walk the room a little bit again. So if you see something, um, feel free to ask a question. There's a lot of shoppers in here with their Ruby Lane tote bags because Ruby Lane is the title sponsor of this show. So it is wonderful to be here with all of our doll friends and family out here in Ohio. So I'm gonna turn the camera on, and we're gonna look at some doll stuff. Here's the tote bags. Lots of tote bags. Lots of shopping, shopping. The dolls here are just phenomenal. The show is amazing. Look at how big it is, everybody. If you guys are here with me, tell me where you're tuning in from. Hello. There are just wonderful people here. This is Elaine from Elaine's Dolls on Ruby Lane. Hi, we're just taking a stroll. Your booth is magnificent. Again, the, the, uh, Elaine has, you've been on Ruby Lane for a while. Yes, um, I have since uh, 2011, I think. Since 2011, you've been on Ruby Lane. So you are just one of our most important sellers. We just love your inventory. She's always coming up with something fun. Do you mind if we do a little look-see in here? Oh, All right. Again, we are with Elaine's Dolls and she has a Ruby Lane shop and we are just shopping, shopping. Elaine, you obviously love holidays, and Christmas, I can tell, is one of your favorite holidays. Oh, yes. So cute. Did you dress these dolls in their Christmas attire? I did. Yes, you do such a good job with that. What, are, what is a couple of your favorite things that you brought to the show? When you're a doll collector, everyone, every, all of them are your favorite, but I'm sure you have a couple highlights. These I little like, Dion's are just cute as a button in their little box. This girl, because oh, she's wow. so unusual. It's a celluloid body baby. You oh my gosh. You never see that. No, you she never see that. Original. Wow, a celluloid Bonnie babe. Look at her little shoes. Aren't those darling? Thank you for pointing her out. She's wonderful. These two guys, the Grabuda Hubuck character and the little uh, K-Star are 116. Oh, aren't they adorable? Cute little size, too. And I love the black dolls, which you took a picture of before. Those are like my favorites. We love black dolls. Where are you? Oh, oh down here. Yes. yes. So we have black dolls and some international cultural dolls. It's so great to learn about all different kinds of ethnicities. Is that a, which brand is this one? Is that a, that's not a Lenchi, but no, she. No, she's that uh, Brazilian brand. Yes. Yes. I, I, I'll think of it in a second. Me too. <laughs> I just kind of like her. She's just a little cloth doll, but oh, she's, she's great. She's cute. Personality plus. Wonderful. This is Elaine's Dolls on Ruby Lane, so if you see something you'd like to ask her about, just take a screenshot or describe it, and you can email her through her shop. Perfect. So if somebody wants something, tell them, just email me. Yep, just email you, and you are available, which is wonderful. Make sure to bookmark Elaine's Dolls, because she is always listing new things, and she, oh, is this a Monica doll? Yes. <laughs> she is so cool. Monica dolls are super hard to find. She's in beautiful condition. Yeah, very good shape, yes. yes. Lovely, thank you, Elaine. Okay, thank that you. was fun. These are our friends right here. We have, oh, and they're, don't worry. I'm not gonna turn it around, George, but we're, we're here in the booth of <laughs> Cynthia and uh, George Ogeron, and they are just wonderful people, and they love everything. George likes uh, half dolls. I know that from our interview that we did last year. We ambushed him. We're in the booth of Cynthia Ogeron and she has wonderful, wonderful dolls. It's also fun to see uh, bargain tables where people can uh, fix them up themselves because that is really fun too. Yeah, it's all those things you think you're gonna get around to. Yeah, well, a dealer and a doll collector we're never done we're never ever we're still working you'll never hear a doll person 
Exactly. If you guys are tuning in, tell us where you're tuning in from. We're here with Cynthia and George Ogeron, and they always have a wonderful booth. They are exhibiting out here at the Wilmington, Ohio Doll Show. If you see a doll that you recognize, tell us in the comments. It's always so fun. Cynthia is always supporting UFDC, which is just wonderful. Here is their card. A one-stop shop for all of your doll needs. This is a great show and hunt. Wonderful show and hunt animals. Hey, Julie from Naples. Hey, Shayna from Long Island. Hey, Paul Ann from Virginia. They're tuning in everywhere. That's wonderful. Yes, Cynthia, you, you are just so much fun. You always engage and you always have beautiful things. This is a great fashion. I love her dress. Show. You know, thank you so much. It is almost as good, but really nothing compares, right? No. Nothing compares. So plus you get to see and look and you also get to chat with the doll shop owners who are so knowledgeable and so willing to share their passion. You can really learn so much. But yes, it's second to that. We have people tuning in from other countries, which is a wonderful Isn't opportunity. That wonderful. That's yes. right. Yes. We had, we had somebody from the Philippines yesterday tuning in live, wow. so it was so neat. Again, this is Cynthia and George Ogeron. They have La Maison Verte. Did I say it right? You did. On Ruby Lane. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Cynthia. Hello, Dorothy from Long Island. Everybody that is tuning in here, uh, let us know where you're from. Tell us what you collect. We are walking around the Wilmington, Ohio doll show and sale, and we are just having a great time. Our friend Bridget is over here, and she is with uh, Antique Doll Collector Magazine. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Rachel. How are you? I'm good. How are you today? We are really good. We're in the dolly cam, and this display looks lovely. Can you tell us about your magazine? We are a magazine dedicated to promoting dolls. So it is vintage and antique dolls. We also love to cover artist bears, artist dolls as well. We do vintage dolls. So if you like those sissies and ginnies, we've got those as well, as well as the jamos and the brews and all the lovely pretty girls we like to see. I love your magazine because it does, it covers so many different things and we are very excited because the Antique Doll Collector is actually going to be one of our newest doll shops on Ruby Lane because you are going to be selling some of your back issues. We will, we will. Which we'll is going to be great. Lots of those issues that are hard to find yeah. and we're going to get them out there so if people have a particular interest that they like, like Stife for example, you might want that particular article, you'll be able to get that, that issue. I love it. That is wonderful. So you can visit the Antique Doll Collector on antiquedollcollector.com. They also have a Facebook and Bridget has been doing a great job posting lots of pictures from this event. So make sure to subscribe to Antique Doll Collector. Thank you. Thanks, Rachel. Angela, you got a digital subscription. That's awesome. Hello.
Busy, busy. Okay, everybody, in about 15 minutes, we are going to start pulling uh, tickets for all these wonderful antique dolls and modern dolls sitting on uh, Billy's table up here. Bradley's up here selling tickets like crazy. So, um, and again, we're, we're probably going to give somebody five minutes to come up and get their doll and then pull another. Hey, Bridget. So, if you're tuning in live, tell us where you're tuning in from. There's a lot happening. It's very exciting. And it's lunchtime. Uh, we have a, a doll friend standing by. So right now they're pulling tickets for the drawings that are happening. course you see the Ruby Lane tote bags. The tote bags have been given out to all of the wonderful shoppers that are here. This is the booth of Nancy McCray. This is Richard Saxman. Hey Mary. I see a lot of familiar faces popping up here in the dolly cam right now. Of course, there's Sherry from Gigi and Sherry's. We did a wonderful one-on-one -on -one with her this morning. Look at this wonderful booth. Just magnificent. So what's happening over here is Billy Harris and Bradley Justice, they are very busy doing doll appraisals today. And I think in a couple minutes, they're going to be uh, raffling, pulling what, some of the raffle tickets for some of the dolls that are on for raffle. Hello, Vanessa from Mexico City. Thank you for tuning in. So I think these are some of the dolls that are for raffle. Hello, Diane. Hi. We're just, we're just in the dolly cam, just having a good old time. There are people tuning in everywhere. There's Bradley, and there's the pink princess over there getting getting ready for the raffle. It's Billy Harris. <laughs> Selling tickets for the raffle. We did an interview this morning with Chad Wilkinson and his booth. He has a wonderful booth. Oh, we're live in the dolly cam. <laughs> Eileen is doing doll stringing. We're gonna hopefully get a, a tutorial with her today. She's very talented, working very hard. And this is her booth right here. If you would like to attend a doll show, there are doll shows happening across the country and they could be in your area. All you have to do is look online. Uh, one of the websites that I like to look on is dollshowusa.com. They also have a Facebook and she has all the doll shows listed. If you would like to attend a doll event uh, sponsored by UFDC, you can go to the UFDC events page on Facebook. So there's a lot of ways that you can find out about the doll shows. Uh, post in doll groups. Um, follow, follow a lot of the doll promoters that you know on Facebook. So if there's a doll show in your area, you must go because you never know what you're going to find. And it's just wonderful to meet and, and hang out with dolly people. Right, ladies? Absolutely. That's right. Doll people are the best people. They really are. Hi, Diane from Scotland. Well, I hope that um, I hope that a, a doll show comes up. But if not, the second best thing to being at a doll show is Ruby Lane. 
So every single day in new arrivals, the doll shops that are here are listing their dolls every single day on Ruby Lane. So in between shows, go to Ruby Lane, rubylane.com slash dolls and click the new arrivals. You can look at new arrivals just from today and you can look at new arrivals uh, from this week or you can also browse for whatever you're looking for by typing it in the search box. So if you don't have a doll show, come to Ruby Lane. It's, it's like a digital doll show every single day. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this little peek and we'll be back on some more this afternoon with some more shop owners and doing some more doll shopping. We'll chat with you soon.